this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. This is part number three of the Potion Challenge, and this is a challenge uh, where me and Squid are in a race to try and make one of almost uh, every different type of potion in the game. There's a couple ones that we're not doing, uh, just because they're either way too difficult and would take way too long, or they're simply not in the Xbox version, so we can't make them. But apart from that, uh, we're trying to make one of every different potion, and I'm doing okay. I'm doing pretty good, to be honest. I've made almost all of them. I've got a few more left to do, uh, but one of the, the big things that I need to get is gold. I need to get gold, and uh, I need to find some more sugar cane as well. So, oh look, oh no, there's another village over here. Maybe Squid found that one. And so yeah, I'm going to try and find some sugar cane. I can't see any around here though, uh, but I also need a good looking cave. And this is an, an okay looking cave. It seems to be like a, a bit of a ravine. Does it go deeper? Nope. It's just a, a small pit, so let's ignore that cave for now. Uh, let's look on the map, see where I'm going. I don't want to wander off too far. Uh, I seem to be uh, heading kind of close to the edge of the world. But I found another village here, and oh look, I can see some sugar cane. Is that sugar cane? I think that is. I think way off in the distance over there, I can see a, a bit more sugar cane. So yep, there is some sugar cane there. I'm going to go grab that, and uh, use that to make some sugar. And then I only, only need to get gold... And then I've got everything I need to do uh, to go and make the, the final few potions. So I'm doing okay, uh, but I know Squid's doing pretty good as well. So this one uh, might be one that's going to be going down to the wire. I think it's all going to be about that gold. And that cave looks lovely. I think that's the cave I'm going to go down. Uh, but first, let's go grab all of this sugar cane. I might as well just go and grab it all up uh, just to make sure I don't end up running out again <laughs> like I did last time. And uh, let's go straight down into this cave down here then, shall we? Uh, I've only got a, a few torches left. I could actually uh, make a, a few more before... I head down and I'm sure there's going to be uh, plenty of uh, coal in here for me uh, that I can gather and plenty of googlies as well already let's take out this silly skeleton ah forget it let's just leave him I don't need to bother dealing with the skeletons I got I got bigger things on my plate <laughs> let's go and uh, head my way down here and I'm going to be properly rushing now I don't need any more iron I don't really need much more coal so I just want to run straight down and try and find some gold as quick as I can so I don't know how deep gold spawns I know it's relatively deep you normally find it uh, around about diamond level so uh, I'm not going to worry too much about getting it exactly uh, but I'm basically going to go down as deep as I can and hopefully not get too lost <laughs> if I mean if I just do torches I should uh, be able to find my way out relatively quickly and this cave has been awesome actually I've like got on almost straight down to the bottom. I'm getting pretty hurt here though. I'm losing quite a lot of hearts. I've got to be quick, but I can't go too crazy because there's googlies all over the place. Let's try and run in here if I can. There we go. I managed to escape uh, a whole load of those googlies. I can still hear things <laughs> growling behind me. And I probably shouldn't run too quick either because I don't want to run past gold. I know there's a good chance I probably already have run past gold, so <laughs> if you see me, if you see any gold, make sure you shout at me so I don't end up missing it because I think I'd end up crying. <laughs> I think I might need to actually uh, gather up a, a bit of coal to make some more torches just so I can see what I'm doing and also mark my way uh, so I'm going to be able to get back out. So let's go and take out this skeleton. There's a zombie over here. I can take them out when it's just 1v1, but when they, when they surround me, and is that... Is that gold? Is this gold right here? It is! This is gold! This is gold! This is gold! Thank you, skeleton! Mwah! Thank you! Thank you for drawing my attention! <laughs> right, let's grab the gold and let's go home! And oh, gravel falling on my head, not good. Grab it, grab it, grab it. It's hard in this texture pack. It looks almost the same as um as iron. Let me just double check. That is definitely gold, isn't it? <gasps> gold! Glorious, glorious gold. Right, let's go gather it all up. I'm not sure how much I need. I'm going to be making it into uh, gold uh, ingots. And uh, you can make uh, lots of gold ingots with only a few nuggets and stuff. So it shouldn't be uh, too tough. And god, this place is uh, quite deep and <laughs> quite difficult to find my way out. I think I came uh, from up here, I do believe. I wish I could just teleport back to the house now and start crafting. Right, let's go and get some... Uh, just some block. Here we go. Let's just use Neverrack. And then I can use this to pile up. What do you reckon? Should I risk digging straight up or not? What do you reckon? Shout at your screen now. What should I do? Why am I using a, a stone sword? I don't think so. Maybe if I get lost... I'll do that as a last resort. Uh, but while I can still see these torches, uh, let me see if I can just jump my way out. I guess I came from up this way, I reckon. Let's go and pile my way up here. I'm actually panicking. I'm actually, no, no, I'm not. I'm not. I made a challenge for myself that no matter what happens, I am not going to panic. I always end up panicking when I'm doing these. And I've decided that's not going to happen this time. I'm going to say calm. I'm going to stay composed. And I'm going to do this. Win or lose, 
I'm not going to go and lose my head over it. And here we go. I think I can see sunlight. I think I can make my way out of the cave. Right. All I need to do now is get back to the wizard's tower and do the last few bits of brewing. And I could end up winning this. Right. Where's the nugget? Where's Squid Nugget? He's he's not by the house. He's not by the, the wizard towers. This is very, very, very good for me. I'm feeling a little bit confident right now. And I felt confident in the past and it's ended up backfiring. But <laughs> hopefully... As long as nothing crazy happens, as long as I don't get struck down by lightning. Oh, pfft, why did I say that? As soon as I say that, it starts raining and hopefully it's not going to start lightning as well. <laughs> I can't believe that timing was absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, let's make sure I can find my way back to the house. I think that would be the only big worry is if I just couldn't find my way back home. Could you imagine that? If I got everything I needed, but I just couldn't find uh, my way back to my wizard tower. And I think it's over in that direction. So if I keep heading there, I kind of roughly know on the map whereabouts it is. Let's try uh, to not fall down a massive ravine or a big hole or anything. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Aren't you glad you decided to watch my view and not Squid's? Or maybe you watch both of us. If you didn't know, by the way, uh, Squid is recording as well. So uh, once you're finished watching my view, uh, you can go and check out his view to see what he's doing right now. Or maybe... Uh, you've already watched his view and you've now come to check out my view. And if that's the case, good. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> oh, dear. This is so tense. This is so tense. I don't think he's been back to the houses uh, since I've been away. Look, hey, look. He's right at the very top of the world. All I need to do is brew these really quickly and I might be able to end up winning this. Why has he gone all the way up there? Do you reckon he's in a cave? Maybe he's looking for the villagers. I mean, there's two villagers. Surely he's going to come across one of them. Right, anyway, let's get inside and get out of the rain and let's make these last few potions. So what do I need? I need uh, slowness. Let me make a, a quick mark of this. I need uh, to make slowness. I need to make um, harming. I also need to make night vision and I need to make invisibility as well. And I think the invisibility uh, is what I needed the, the carrot for. So let's Let's go uh, out of the rain into my wizard's tower and let's go and get my brew on. <laughs> right, so let's go and make the, the invisibility first then. So to make an invisibility potion, you need a golden carrot. So uh, I need to go and smelt my gold first. So uh, let me go and put my gold in there. And I don't have any more coal, so I'm just going to use uh, wood for now. And then let's go and start that smelting. I might put a bit more wood in as well, just so uh, it can smelt for long enough. And then I need to get the gold, and I need to make it into uh, golden ingots. And I think you need to make it into... Do you make it into golden nuggets first by smelting it, then into golden ingots? Uh, whereabouts are they? Are, are they around here somewhere? Um, yeah, you need to... I need to make it into those little bits somehow. And I'm not actually sure how I do that. Is it somewhere around here? Is it? Oh, uh, here we go, around here. So golden nuggets, and I turn them into... Is it golden ingots they're called? Oh, no, I make them into... I made the ingots into nuggets. That's it. I was saying it the, the wrong way around. Then I need to make that into a golden carrot. <laughs> awesome. And so I need to first put a uh, make an awkward potion. Uh, so let me go and grab a, a few more bottles of water. And let me go and put those in there. Then I need to grab some more never wart. I'm glad I grabbed so much never wart. I've been using loads of this. And let's go and make myself uh, three more awkward potions potions and uh, yeah so then I just need to go and add in the the golden carrot uh, which is gonna make it into a, a night vision potion and then I only need uh, I think three more uh, other potions and then I can win this and where is squid nugget he's still all oh I think he's found the village I think he's up by the village you see that little gray patch I think that's where the village is right I really need to get a move on now this is tense this is so close there we go I got one awkward potion and so let me go and put the the golden carrot in and that should make my night vision and then what else do I need I also need uh no that's gonna make my um invisibility sorry and then I also need to make night vision and how do I make night vision I think that is just a never war and a golden carrot to be honest actually if i go and put that in uh, that that i can do two birds with one stone there and so that should make a night vision potion i believe there we go that's my night vision one made and then i need to just add to that a um uh, a fermented spider eye and then that should make it into invisibility i believe you're gonna have to excuse me i'm a <laughs> i'm only a wizard's apprentice i'm very new to all of this i've never been uh, that good at brewing so let's go and put that in there and uh, while that's going uh, i might go and put my night vision potion oh no don't put it up there no don't put it up there no i don't want to do that there we go <laughs> there we go so that's going to be making an invisibility one and while that's going i'm going to go get my night vision one and I'm going to go and place this down here. I think night vision is my favourite potion as well. Because I hate it when you're down in dark caves and things. So uh, that one's in there. My invisibility potion should be almost done. And then I think I just need to make a... Um 
Is it a slowness and a harming potion? Oh, have I already made them? I'm not entirely sure. Well, let me go and grab this one, and then let me see what the, the last two things I, I need to make are. This is so tense. I'm so close. Where's Squid? Where's Squid? Oh, Squid's coming back. I think Squid's coming back in this direction. Right, so this is a uh, invisibility, and so that one goes down there. And then all that's left is slowness and harming. Slowness and harming. And to make harming, uh, I need um, never wart and spider eye and fermented spider eye. So uh, I need to go. So I just need a weakness potion, which would be the never wart. Uh, I then need a normal spider eye. And do I have any spider eyes, actually? I don't know if I got any spider eyes on me. Do I? Yes! One last spider eye! One last spider eye! I'm glad I managed to get that. <laughs> and then I need to add a fermented spider eye uh, on top of that. God, I panicked then. I panicked then. <laughs> Luckily, I got that spider spawner that I can run back to if I, uh, if I do need to. Right, so this is going to make uh, the the harming potion, and uh, then I also need to make was it a uh, weakness as well? Uh, let me go down and check. Sorry, I know I'm being all over the place here, and I know I said I wasn't going to panic, but I am panicking now. So I need to put the uh, fermented spider eye now in top up there, and uh, that is going to make it uh, into the uh, the harming potion, I do believe. And then the other one was a uh, weakness. Was it weakness I needed? Was it weakness or slowness, maybe? I think it was weakness. Well, I'm going to grab this one when it's done, and I'm going to go and place it in, and then I'm going to go and check what the, the final one I need is. Oh, but Squid's coming back! Squid is making his way back. Oh, no, this isn't good! This isn't good! This isn't good! This isn't good! I don't want him to get back. Right, there we go. There's my harming, and I think the last one is either weakness or slowness. I keep losing track, though. He's about to see how many I've done now, though. He's about to see. Right, let's go and put the harming in. And it's slowness, the last one I need. Hello, Squid Nugget! Hello, Squid Nugget! Hello! Anyway, let's go in and shut the door. <laughs> okay, so I need to make a slowness potion. I think do I, I think I need sugar to make that and something else. Uh, slowness is sugar and then a fermented spider eye. So uh, do I have any more uh, awkward potions? I don't. Let's go and make uh, a couple more awkward potions. And then I need sugar and fermented spider eye. So that's why I needed that last bit of sugar. So sugar, and then do I have a fermented spider eye? I can only just about do it. That's my last fermented spider eye. This has been so unbelievably close. Hopefully I can put these down before Squid can. I think he might still have some brewing to do. So there we go. I got my awkward potions. Oh, I should have left that in there. So I need to do sugar. And then when that's done, I need to do the fermented spider eye. Right, Squid's gone up to his tower. He's going to be brewing at the same time as me. Come on, brew quicker. Hurry up, brewing stand! Come on! I'm sorry I failed about not panicking, but I want to win so much. Squid always wins these challenges, and this has been a tough one. I really want to win it. <laughs> I've been doing this for almost an hour now. Right, there we go. That's made it into a swiftness one, then put in the fermented spider eye, and that should make a slowness potion, which should be the final potion that I need to do. This has been so close. If I just didn't have enough spider eyes or sugar or something, then I'd have to go wandering off again. Please make a slowness potion. Please tell me my brewing's correct. Go, 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 go! go. Where's Squid? Where's Squid? Okay, Squid's still up in his tower. Squid's still in the tower. And there we go. It's made slowness. Run down the ladder. Run down the ladder. Run down the ladder. Never run down the ladder, by the way. Sandra's, oh no, don't drink it. Don't drink the potion. <laughs> that would have been bad. Not only would it have slowed me down, but I would have lost it. And there we go. I have done it. Invisibility, fire resistance, regeneration, strength, swiftness, night vision, poison, weakness, slowness, and harming. And I have done it! Woo! 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 There we go. I managed to get one of every different potion that I could have made. We didn't do healing uh, because we don't have melons, and there's also no uh, breathing underwater ones uh, because we don't have a puffer fish. But apart from that, I made one of every potion and squid nugget. Squid Nugget made four. How embarrassing. <laughs> See, look, he got to an early lead because he went to the never first. I took my time. I overruled, didn't panic too much, and I just kept at it, and I managed to get every single thing that I needed to do. And poor Squid Nugget uh, still doesn't even know that I've won yet. Let's go and uh, put down a little sign just saying, GG, uh, we're always uh, very friendly and sporting. We always both want to win, but overall, we're kind of just playing for fun anyway, which is always the, the way you should play anything. So there we go. GG means good game. Good game, well played, Squid Nugget. Good game, well played. Let's just put down a torch so he sees that. <laughs> oh dear. If you want to do the uh, potion challenge yourself. It's very, very easy. Just set up what we built here. You don't need to make the towers or anything. Just set up the item frames and, uh, yeah, but basically use this video as a guide and maybe play it with your friends. And if you do do it and record it, uh, make sure you send me the video because I'd be very interested uh, to see what you guys come up with. Uh, sadly, though, that is the end of this video here. I want to thank Squid very much for being a very worthy opponent. And I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later.